Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a grocery haul for you. Um, I went to Tesco and I got a couple of bits in Lidl. I've just done my shopping scan, um, so I'm not going to be going through that today, but um, if you want to know more about that, I have a video all about it, um, and I'll link that in the, in the description below. Um, so without further ado, let's go. So first off, we have the Tesco Irish Round Beef Steak Mince, which is 10% fat. Then we have two packets of the Irish Chestnut Mushrooms. Some of our beloved Kerrygold. A packet of Irish Cooked Ham, it's been opened for Isla's lunch. Two boxes of Innocent Smoothies. This one's been opened already. They never last long in this house, but um, they're really, really good. We have some pancetta. Two packets of Irish pork sausages. And two packets of turkey breast stir fry. And back here we have two of the three litres uh, one whole whole fat milk and one low fat milk. And a six pack of strawberry flavoured yops. I love loving these as well, so while they're on offer I just keep getting them. Six pack of the strawberry yogurt drinks, cholesterol lowering. And we have uh, four reduced fat beef burgers. Um, the fire pit range is really, really nice. Um, so when I saw these in 3 for 10, I just grabbed them. Um, then we have two packets of the sausage rolls. I love loving sausage rolls at the minute. They're just perfect for a snack. Quick and easy and you can eat these hot or cold. And back here we have some hazelnut milk. Loving these as well at the moment. And we have... Um, the big, I think it's 255 grams of um, Greenfield's Great Cheddar. You go through cheese quite quickly in this house. We have two packets of Pecorino. And two packets of these singles. And we have two packets also of the Cookstown Bacon Delights. It's like already cooked bacon like my little medallions they're really really handy and then back here these have been opened too but um two packets of the muller corner strawberry shortcake and milk chocolate digestive mix we have a packet of toasting waffles a packet of donuts we have just a tube of tomato puree. A little um, tub of parsley. A packet of milk chocolate digestives. And back here we have a packet of potato lattices. And 20 battered chicken dippers. I also got this tricolour fusilli. Isla really likes this, um, so do I, so it's always handy to have in the press. Packet of long grain rice. Also a packet of spaghetti. One pepper. Some carnaroli risotto rice. Here we have four carrots and Brennan's bread. We got two of these ones that was in the freezer. Some hair gel, a deodorant, and then a packet of chicken stock pots and beef stock pots. And just carrying on there, um, we have two packets of water wipes. <coughs> two packets of the white soft sub rolls. I was going to school one of these. We got two packets of them. Uh, here we have a big packet of wheat biscuits, just like Weetabix. Um, 
put a can of coconut milk, a bottle of Worcester sauce. And these little pesto pots are very handy. It's just two pesto pots and they're just really handy when you only need that little bit. Got three of these apple and mango um, sachets and we got pear and apple. We got two of the pear and apple. The Ellis Kitchen that I usually get weren't on offer so I just got these instead. They're just handy. I know they're for babies but um, they're just really handy just uh, as a little snack as well. Um, we have some apple rice cakes and pear and berry rice cakes. They're also really handy just for the lunchbox. And then we have some Spring Fresh Fabric Conditioner. And some microwavable Maris Piper potatoes. And lastly, I went into Lidl just to pick up this couple of bits. Um, first, I got the Cotton Candy Grapes. Isla's loving grapes at the moment and I'm putting them into her lunchbox. And I love these Cotton Candy ones. If you haven't tried them yet, you really have to. They are so, so good. And I got four brioche burger buns. And last but not least, ready rolled puff pastry. It's such good value in Lidl. Um, there's just no point in spending a ridiculous amount of money on just puff pastry when you can get it cheap in Lidl. So in total in Tesco, I spent 109.83. That was with the seven euro delivery charge. And in Lidl, I spent 447. So that is everything for today, folks. Um, so altogether, I spent about 113, 114 euro, um, which is okay. But I would like to start budgeting back properly again with the shopping because, you know, at one point I was only spending like on average 80 euros. And I think since the summer, I've just been eating all around her, like many kids, I'd say, and um, just being out of a routine and everything. So I planned our dinners this week, which I will be doing from now on again. I kind of got out of that loop and um, just be kind of focusing on stripping it back a little bit. I like to kind of make a hundred euros my kind of marker. Um, so going over that, you know, I don't really want to. So just have to work on budgeting and kind of getting things that we need. And I haven't spent too much, um, so we'll have to work on that. But all in all, it's okay. Um, it's just that extra 10, 15 euros a week that you might be spending is could be like an extra 40, 60 euros a month, which is, you know, a big saving if you're going to do it. Uh, so that's everything. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next one. Bye.